Welcome to this ELHT e-learning video on the CERNA EPR revenue cycle and today we are looking at how to complete the scheduling of an appointment, of an outpatient appointment using the schedule function on OAPAS and then we'll move on to how to complete the scheduling of an appointment using the first available button and then lastly I will demonstrate how to record a refused offer. Okay, so before beginning, just a, a couple of prerequisites that's required as it's becoming traditional in these uh, training videos. Of course, firstly, you require a patient to be in your patient banner. Next, you'll also require a referral. Um, the status needs to be set to waiting. So if you have a referral that's simply been requested yet to be accepted, um, this won't be allowed to be scheduled so you do need to have that referral in a waiting status so to begin with we need to select the correct referral with the right click button and then go down to the schedule button at the bottom there of that list it'll load up the schedule appointment pane appointment typed so this of course would be specific to your um, service or needs we're going to set it to derm telephone new so it's going to be a telephone clinic that our patient will be attending we'll select the location telephone and can you see what it's done there it's pulled through Dr Hafferty. Um this is in fact the correct person that I want to book it in for so it's made an assumption if the um, appointment is on today's date Dr Hafferty has the telephone clinic so it's pulled through him as the preferred resource. Resource is meaning person, in this case clinician, in this case Dr. Hafferty. So I'll schedule with, we're going to select first available and it's giving you the option here to print a letter. Now in our example here this is a same day appointment so um, I don't see the requirement to, to print off a letter. This would be your kind of standard East Lanks Trust um, appointment uh, booked letter so we're going to go for no for that option and now again I've selected my mandatory fields you can enter some comments here if required but you can see because I've entered the mandatory fields these options have now become available to me and I'm wanting to select the schedule button so don't forget it's looking for Dr Hafferty and it's pulled through Dr. Hafferty's appointment slots here. So we've got 20 minute appointments, telephone appointments, or under 20 minutes as it's highlighted there. We can, if I select one of these slots, so for example the one o'clock slot, it's automatically set a time there to 20 minutes because these are 20 minute slots. However, if let's say this was a 40 minute slot, you can change that to 40 there and it will book up for them two slot timings there. Okay, but we're wanting to go ahead with a 20 minute slot so I'll return that to 20 minutes and I'm just going to use the select button here in the bottom right. So now it's pulled through everything there, it's selected the resource time and date so what you need to do is ensure that they're correct and then select the confirm button at the bottom there. Once selected what we're hoping for is future appointments which is this kind of button tab here we're hoping that that populates with an appointment there my computer's taken a second to think about it and it has eventually pulled through the appointment you can see the status has changed to scheduled which is the correct status and of course we now have that appointment waiting for us at the bottom if that doesn't appear automatically I'd recommend selecting the refresh button at the top here and that will just give the system a little rejig to update it to the most recent status which is of course the appointment that we've just booked. Now we're just going to delve into it a little bit more than what we did on the previous demonstration and just show you another way of booking uh, an appointment. So I've effectively sent my patient back to square one again here We've got a waiting appointment that's been accepted, we're waiting to book for the first time. So just like we did previously, 
we right clicked and we selected the schedule option here. Again, just like we did previously, we'll populate some information, the location, we schedule it with the first available and we're not printing a letter. Now, different to the previous time, we're going to select the option first available. Previously, we selected schedule and I just want to make reference to the difference between the two. If I select first available, you can see it pulls through exactly what it says on the tin, the first available appointment. So it searches the system, looks for any dermatology new clinics on the date that we've selected and it just pulls through the earliest possible appointment. You can see here at the top, it's giving me the information that I've made my criteria, my search criteria too broad. So you can narrow that down by selecting AM only, PM only, um, day exceptions, etc, etc. You can decide to narrow that down if you wanted to. And then it's the case of looking for the earliest possible appointment. And that is quite uh, a good asset to have as a receptionist and you're just wanting to know what's the earliest possible appointment. Now alternatively, the schedule option, it provides you with the clicks on that day, gives you this kind of more of a graphic view of all the possible options to select, not just the ones relevant to your booking, but it also gives you the options to change days. Okay, so that's the, basically the difference between the two. If I go ahead and I just book on first available and we just book, book for this slot here at half 11, you can see it's exactly the same screen now as what we've seen after selecting the schedule option last time. So there's no difference between the two. And then we just select confirm like we did previously. And you can see it's updated from waiting to schedule and in the future appointments pane it's pulled through that appointment that we've just selected so it's two different ways of achieving the same outcome but I'd probably recommend going with the first available option it's probably an easier way of, of getting to the right result quickly whereas the schedule option is more of an ad hoc way of finding the result that you're looking for so now we're going to look at how to record a refused offer for a patient. So I've basically sent this patient back to square one again. Um, so in theory, we have accepted referral for the patient. This is the first appointment. We've offered a date to the patient and it's been a refused offer. So to do that, you're wanting to follow the same process that we've followed the last two times right click on the referral in your waitlist referrals select the option that says schedule populate the required fields I'll just populate the mandatory fields to make this a little faster and now Again, just like, spoke, just like we spoke about previously, you have the options for first available and schedule. You can record on either one a refused offer. So we'll start with first available. And let's say, uh, let's change the date actually. Let's make it the 20th. And we'll go for first available. And let's say we've offered this appointment here at half 10. It's been a refused offer, so we right click and we select the button that says record refused offer. To know that it's worked successfully, you come to the top bar here and the information is enlightening me with the fact that there's been a refused offer and it's been successfully recorded for that patient. Let's close that off and let's do the same on the schedule. Let's select the 21st on this occasion. Find a dermatology new clinic. So we'll go for this one here. We've offered 9 a.m. Um, and they've refused. We right click, record refused offer. And just like we've seen on the previous screen, 
the information bar will tell us that it has successfully recorded. Thank you for watching this C learning video, the Eastlink C learning video on how to schedule an appointment and then in turn how to record a refused offer. For more videos on uh, the Cerner EPR system, Revenue Cycle, or any of the other applications regarding the EPR, if you visit our ELHT IMT training team YouTube channel, you'll find a variety of videos on there, playlists which will be rendered to your needs. So if you're a doctor, inpatient doctor, for example, we'll have a playlist specific to them and hopefully the applications as well. So plenty of options there. So uh, please go to that channel to uh, view any further videos. Thank you.